Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. South Park is obviously not a show that it's primarily watched for its lore, but for a topical animated comedy series, it sure does feature a surprising amount of it. Sure, much of this comes in the form of parody, but through all of these parodies and references, the show has established a pretty fascinating series of ideas and lore that I have a ton of fun diving into. A surprising piece of world building that has come up many times over the series is the idea of immortal beings, with the show featuring many of them and even establishing and reinforcing its own rules for these types of characters. So today, let's take a deep dive into the many immortal beings of South Park. But before we get started, let's talk about today's video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build your online presence, run your business, or make a personal website. It's seriously so user-friendly. I threw this cool page together really quickly, it was easy to use, and there are so many different customization options. My website looks professional and matches the aesthetic of my brand and YouTube channel, highlighting some of my favorite video essays I've worked on, as well as some of the recent productions I've worked on professionally, complete with links to my work and and contact info. I seriously can't express how easy Squarespace is to use, so head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to push the website public, use my link squarespace.com slash johnny 2 to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now, technically, immortal beings have been in South Park since season one, and beyond that, they've been talked about a surprising number of times. The episodes that most contribute to the immortals lore are the Coon and Friends trilogy and the Time to Get Serial duology, with some more sprinkled throughout the series. Here's a list of confirmed immortal characters in South Park. Jesus Christ, Satan, God, Kenny McCormick, AKA Mysterion, Cthulhu, Mintberry Crunch, and Man Bear Pig. But before we dive into the immortals we know most about, let's run down some of the characters who may or may not have immortality but aren't confirmed. First, we aren't going to count anyone that is only seen in Imagination Land, they're imaginary. Moving on. Every member of the Super Best Friends has superpowers of some kind, though it is unclear if any of them are immortal, except of course for Jesus. Captain Hindsight also has powers, primarily seen as the power of flight, but the extent of his powers outside of Hindsight are unclear. We only know he was bitten by a retroactive spider. Some of the demons in hell like Demonius and Kevin could arguably be immortal, but it's hard to say for sure. Ditto for existing characters like Freddy Krueger. It's also possible that Santa Claus is immortal in the South Park universe, but I think he probably is not as he nearly died in Iraq in Red Slay Down and the boys had to rescue him. I don't know why they would have needed to rescue him if he was immortal. All right, so let's move on to those confirmed immortal characters. Season 1 actually had a major focus on Jesus and Satan in the episode Damien, pitting the two against each other in a boxing match. Now, the extent of their powers are not explored too in depth early on, but are later confirmed in the series, though their immortality does seem to have different rules. Jesus' immortality comes in the form of resurrection. In the season 6 finale, Red Slay Down, Jesus is actually shot while attempting to rescue Santa Claus, and he dies. The kids mourn his loss, but he actually returns in a triumphant fashion five seasons later in Fantastic Easter Special. Now, this episode fully confirms how Jesus' immortality works in South Park, and that he doesn't actually have any other powers. Don't you have any superpowers? Not as a mortal, only in death. So later in the episode, we see Kyle kill Jesus, and then Jesus returns from death once again to stop Bill Donahue from becoming Pope. Satan, on the other hand, we have no confirmation one way or the other if his immortality comes in the same form. It seems that he is just a super powerful creature that cannot be defeated by mere mortals, as we've seen him go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man Bear Pig, which we'll cover again later. Next is God, which I guess technically we don't have confirmation that this character is immortal, but I expect given the immortality status of other Christian figures that God likely figures into this. He tends to stick around heaven, though he did come down to give humans advice once, and he also gave Satan some friendly advice advice once as well. You need to spend time alone so that you can find the balance, the middle ground. That's what I always do because I'm a Buddhist. Now we get to some of the really interesting stuff. For years, one of the biggest jokes in South Park was that Kenny dies constantly. He died in nearly every episode for a number of seasons. Then in season six, they actually kill him off for the entire season before bringing him back again in season seven. But it isn't until season 14's Coon and Friends trilogy that we learn the truth behind this ongoing gag. Kenny actually experiences and remembers every single death that he has ever gone through, and his curse is that he continues to resurrect every single time, with his friends and family remembering nothing about his deaths. Technically, this is very similar to Jesus' form of immortality. Jesus, we thought you died in Iraq. I have the power of resurrection. 
Or have you forgotten? Though people remember Jesus' deaths while they don't remember Kenny's. And the worst part, nobody even remembers me dying. Kenny also seems to experience the afterlife when he dies, sometimes. In the South Park movie, he spends much of the movie in hell, bonding with Satan, and after his good deeds at the end of the film, he is sent to heaven. We also see Kenny spend significant time in heaven during the season 9 episode Best Friends Forever, when he's basically recruited to lead the armies of heaven against hell. Kenny's resurrections also vary. Sometimes he just wakes up in his bed, sometimes he just reappears next to his friends, and other times his mother actually experiences an incredibly quick form of childbirth, and he ages up to age 8 incredibly quickly. Also, for a huge Huge chunk of season six, Kenny's soul was actually co-inhabiting the body of Eric Cartman after Cartman mistook Kenny's ashes for chocolate milk mix, implying that there are even more possibilities with Kenny's form of immortality. Yeah, luckily Cartman's big enough for the both of us. Shut up, Kenny. Next, we have Cthulhu, whose lore stems directly from classic Lovecraft. He's from an alternate dimension, the portals to which lie under the ocean. When the BP oil company drilled into these portals, Cthulhu was unleashed onto the world. This was the episode when a major part of South Park's immortal lore was established. The only thing that can destroy an immortal is another immortal. The even darker part of this reveal is that Kenny then hoped to either learn more about his curse or simply be killed by Cthulhu to end his suffering of immortality. But neither happened. Instead, we were bait and switched and learned about the next immortal on our list, Mintberry Crunch. Initially explained to be a mild-mannered fourth grader named Bradley Biggle with a very confusing superhero persona. I'm not getting your deal. I mean... Exactly what is Mint Berry Crunch supposed to mean? But in Coon vs. Coon and Friends, we learn all about his actual backstory. His real name is Gokzara, and he comes from a planet called Kokajon. The alien from his home planet implores Mintberry Crunch to use his powers to save the Earth from Cthulhu. He takes Cthulhu back through the portal into the sunken city and saves the day. After this, Mintberry Crunch leaves Earth to search for more answers regarding his home planet and his origins. Yeah. Minberry Crunch does apparently make a return in the DLC for South Park the Fractured But Whole video game, but I haven't played that DLC yet, so no spoilers in the comments, please. And this brings us to our final immortal character, Man Bear Pig. Initially thought to be a hoax perpetrated by Al Gore, it's eventually revealed that Man Bear Pig is not only real, but he's a type of demon known as a sifter of fate. He was summoned by an older generation, including Marvin Marsh, and they basically traded their descendants' futures to have cool stuff when they were younger. The episode also re-establishes the idea that only an immortal being can kill an immortal being, and Satan steps forward to try and save South Park from Man Bear Pig. Unfortunately, this does not end well, Satan is actually killed by Man Bear Pig, and as they're both immortals, Satan dies for real. But thanks to his heroic sacrifice, he's actually sent to heaven. Quite the ending for Satan. Ultimately, in the end of the episode, Stan decides the only way to get rid of Man Bear Pig is to strike another deal, and they pass the burden on to a future generation. So these are all of South Park's immortal beings, and their types of immortality, I think, can be divided mostly into two categories. You have the super powerful creatures who cannot be harmed significantly by mortal beings, such as Satan, Cthulhu, Man Bear Pig, and Mint Berry Crunch. And you have the immortals who can be harmed by any normal means, but resurrect after death, such as Jesus Christ and Kenny McCormick. We've seen that the super powerful immortals can take each other on in fights, as Satan and Man Bear Pig faced off, as did Mint Berry Crunch and Cthulhu. Technically, Satan fought Jesus too, though it seems like Jesus would likely just get pummeled by Satan based on what we know of his powers. In that episode, Satan actually threw the fight so that he could win a bet. He was the only one who bet on Jesus. But if Jesus is killed by anyone other than an immortal, he can just resurrect afterwards. So this begs the question, could characters like Kenny or Jesus actually kill characters like Man Bear Pig or Satan or Cthulhu? Technically speaking, it sounds like if they were able to kill these immortal creatures, they would stay dead. But the question is, how would they be able to do it? Jesus has no confirmed powers outside of death, and it doesn't appear Kenny does either. So I think without any type of extra capabilities, it's likely that this category doesn't really stand a chance against the other category. However, we did get confirmation that Man Bear Pig can kill another immortal, as he did kill Satan. So theoretically, Cthulhu or Mint Berry Crunch or Man Bear Pig could all kill each other if they faced off. So what I'm saying is, we really need an episode where Mint Berry Crunch returns to save South Park from Man Bear Pig in an epic battle. Obviously, this is what South Park needs. Now, I know that this kind of stuff is not supposed to be this deep. It's mostly parodies and history and lore to make the episodes more fun, but if there's anybody who can dive way too deep into the lore of South Park, it's me. 
so you better appreciate me for it. And with that, I want to pass it off to you. Are there any potentially immortal South Park characters that I missed? Do you think my breakdown was accurate? Who's your favorite immortal character? Mine's Kenny. Let me know below in the comments. And of course, stay tuned for more. Peace. Johnny to challenge.